It's about time. Took two days to get this guy. Second check. Actually, I had a coyote, or I had something trip this yesterday. It looked more like a deer. Just a super coyote. I got a pup right across the mile over here. It was a mile. And uh, right on a two track. And this guy looks like a pup as well. Uh, we got ourselves a center pivot, weed edge, cornfield. They told me they did very well on the crops here with that irrigation. So, and actually the rains kind of fell just right to some degree. But anyway, great spot. Not far from the road, easy access, a little bit concerned, but uh, he was laying nice and flat and all of a sudden I turned in and he jumped up. He had energy. So let me put this good looking guy down. What a beautiful coyote. I mean, I tell you, he's, he's what you want to come out here for, so. Okay. I got that coyote put down. I grabbed a little bit of weak shock. Not shock, but weak stubble. Let's get this guy out of the trap here. And, uh, there we go. Let's get him right there. Just a beautiful coyote. <coughs> Just drop dead gorgeous. Another pup. He is he a male? Nope. Got another female. Two little females. I thought I saw some scat here, but I don't see them. All right. So find our location. Right there's our set. So we need to hammer in our wheat stubble. Let's go the other way. I kind of cut this down and broke it off. And uh, I had not, I, I actually used just the grass that was here when I first made the set. I believe I did anyway. Who knows? I might have added something. I probably used wheat. It stands out. Coyotes work in this corner. I, I, and I found multiple scat piles here multiple scout piles they were just about everywhere uh no real the ground's kind of hard he softened it up but uh i didn't really have any true guiding uh, to tell me where they were walking but when you put in something like this you got them it will catch their eye along with the scat i see some scat right there let's chip this out You get four chances with this walkthrough type of a set. He's caught by the front foot. That happens to probably 90% of mine. I, you know, I actually went through a phase here this year where I couldn't hardly get a, it was about probably one in four that I caught by the, by the front foot. It, you know, you just, it is what it is. You just go through it and, uh, he was caught by the front foot. Normally they are. Oh, that pan tension is awfully weak. It's awfully weak. We'll tighten this up. I mean, can't hardly see. There's that. That. Get that in the right side. Gotta find my. The sun's so bright. It's kind of hard to see. All right. Give that a little tight. Got with my nut driver. Just a little bit. Yep. This one's a, kind of a. There, I got it. Need a little bit more than I thought for this particular one. There we go. Getting it, getting it done. Bridger number three. There we go. Let's see if I got a low enough. And I just do. I just do have it low enough.
got a lot of sand spurs here or I don't know if that's the right phrase is when I lived in Virginia we had sand spurs and you know you get down here messing with this dirt and it don't feel too good on the hands let me see where it's weak just pushing it down as I press down on one side of the trap the other side comes up or whatever you pick whichever side you want and you pack on the side you want to raise a little bit this way this way you have it solid the last set I just grabbed a whole bunch of pan covers so we'll do that I see I got a pan cover sitting there I don't know if it's any good for another one or not let me see because yep this one's still all right now I'll, only, I'll reuse this on a uh, remake because it's already got his odors everywhere I don't normally reuse pan covers but out here a lot of them get as soon as the animal gets caught it blows right it, it, it's gone and uh, so I will reuse them on a remake because there's already his odors here anyway so that ain't gonna hurt anything all right plenty of dirt to go over it and let's create a trail I should have done this first Get, getting out of getting ahead of myself getting ahead of myself all right there's my pan right there packing that all in looks good that last set I forgot to throw some urine on it I did it after the camera was shut off uh, we'll get it out so I don't forget this time and uh, here's my scat empty container there and let's go ahead and blend it back sweep it out so I've gotten some responses saying I don't add any more guiding than this the answer is no I don't I don't add any more I believe his attention is here and going to be on my scat and I believe that between that you're going to get this kind of action with their feet they're going to go up down up down and we're going to have them that way and 99% of the time I believe that's how it works I, I wish I, I there's not a good spot to put a camera here maybe if I attach one to a center pivot or something like that I'll have to think about that for uh, New Mexico I'm getting some camera footage just a little bit of high hills gland someone asked me is this the only gland lure I use and the answer is no I use my predator extreme Bobcat number one um, I use my old faithful and death scent uh, the only reason is I have this with me I'm not carrying two or three different kinds of gland lure today and uh, usually one gland lure will do it a little urine on your attractor urine on your scout attractor we got the set done I'll show you I'll show you the set again just to make yourself feel good check out a few of your prints and there's that awesome coyote and there's our scent post and looking at it coming right around that corner right around the corner Kyle comes on down or whichever direction he wants to go uh, the scouts guiding him down to the side I want him I put the gland lure on the side that I want him not on the other side on this side of the set so anyway uh, no reason to think we won't get another coyote because I believe we will another coyote out here got caught off of this projection type of a set using uh 
using this uh, uh, fence post as guiding. But anyway, we got him, and uh, good job, Richard. Another good set of his put down right there. So anyway, uh, prairie dog field, uh, pasture, horse pasture is how they use it. And uh, got this guy caught, so we'll put him down and remake the set. type of a set uh, is, is nothing more the way we're nothing more than a set post and uh, I've already got the trap redone here but it's just a set post there we go get it lined up and I'm going to offer this right here Adds a little bit of a, a little bit of guiding, plus a smear, <coughs> some clam lure right there. Um, got this coyote. This is my third check on this far and on this farm. I've gotten a couple of uh, got a couple of coyotes back to back the last couple of days, and uh, finally one of them came on this side of the fence. Probably had to get me a get me. I don't think I have any. Yes, I do. I got one. Always just one. But he walked right into it. I'm gonna use some uh, uh, horse manure to kind of guide him on this backside. Keep him honest. Go ahead and get my sifter out and get some dirt gathered up. There's, it's dry. It's dry dirt. The way this wind is going, I know I'm going to have to there we go. Help hold it down my thing with some dirt. There we go. Real nice. You gotta get a little dirt underneath of this. So it doesn't want to pop down. up in here for you let you see it there we go that's done we can use some scat out here just like a trail set put some of that out there he gave me quite a bit quite a few Christmas presents all right on the back side of my set I want to go ahead and lay in some horse manure. Let me grab. Let me look for some. There we go. Got a horse manure backing. We'll blend this whole thing in. I'll kick the scat off for now. I got to blend the whole thing back. And, uh, some wood kick that out and coming to you there we go gotta love this weather it's a lot easier than dealing with mud all right checking that out we are now ready Put some high hills, land lure, right on the point 
side of this post right here. The wind is kind of at my back. So I'm going to cheat a little bit here. Put a little bit also right here. some urine. I'm going to put a little urine there, put some urine there and on my scab. With the wind changing, I'm going to get it both covered. I'm going to show you the set. But that's it right there. Right off of a corner post, you can even see how them coyotes would come right around this corner. And that's what Richard came up with, and he was spot on right. So, great set, great location. Using a projectile to push him over to one side. Got gland lure in this case on both sides for in the event that the wind were to switch back. But uh, anyway, we got him, and uh, beautiful Kyle. We're going to keep going. <laughs>